Hi guys and welcome back to another week of what's for breakfast. If you are new, my name is Crystal. I do have a playlist of these um, what's for breakfast, just sharing you guys different ideas. These are not breakfasts that we had throughout the week. They were filmed on different days. So I just want to share that with you guys. I'm also going to be sharing this new espresso machine that we just got and have been loving and also show you how to use it if you guys are interested in purchasing your own. So if you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's get started with this week's what's for breakfast so starting off these are some pancake bites these are great for a quick little breakfast a snack on this day that I was making it I did film this a while back um, I was making them for my girls uh, lunches and I wanted to share that with you guys um, you can make them so different many ways um, but pretty much all you're going to need is your favorite pancake mix and then this particular brand, the Krusty's, I really like. I pick it up at Costco. Um, you can use water just to make it, just follow the directions. I like to add some almond milk and also too, I will mix it up with spinach and make them green. But on this case, I use that raw beet powder that you guys saw just to add some extra vitamins and minerals and it doesn't taste any different. The girls really enjoy it and it just makes this pretty uh, pink color. But when you do bake them, the color does fade. But we make them fun. Um, I bake them in these little mini uh, muffins. I try not to fill them up to the top. And I'll show you guys the oven uh, temperature and how long I cook them up in a bit. And you guys will see that this is a much older clip just because my oven is working during that time. Um, now you can leave these plain just as is. You can add fruit in them which I will show you guys in a bit. Fruit that I like to add are blueberries, you can add strawberries, you can add bananas, fresh or frozen. Another great option are chocolate chips, sprinkles, you name list so many uh, different kind of toppings. We can leave them plain like I said and also put Nutella on top which is another option my kids really like. They're really easy and fun to make. They're very easy to make like I mentioned. They're great to make for in the morning before school or ahead of time and freeze um, on this day that's what I did I made a big batch to freeze and then I would put them frozen inside my girls lunch bag and they, by the lunchtime they would defrost which is, which is also another good option to do I just want to hold you I just want to look into your eyes and tell you that I want you if you are new to my channel and enjoy watching these kinds of videos and would like to see more, feel free to hit that subscribe button if you want to get notified each time that I upload a video or also go live for my live cook with me's, make sure to hit that bell button and click all and you will get notified each and every time I upload a video. So once they're done, they're really easy to pop out just because I added the cooking spray. All I do is run my butter knife through them and they come out and they're so, so cute. Like I said, different ways to switch it up. So this is the texture what they look like they still taste like a pancake but more like of a muffin form I have made an older video that I will put down below where I made pumpkin kind and then this is the one that has the Nutella on top and this is what they look like when they're all done you can save these to eat on their own or you can just make um, some eggs on the side some bacon or also add some fruit and let me show you guys what that looks like so there I made some with bananas some chocolate chips some blueberries also some banana with walnuts like a banana nut bread and this is the way my kids usually have it they like it with chocolate chips and fruit on the side hi guys so for today's breakfast we're making some fresh toast i started by cracking two eggs going to add some milk and then uh just some cinnamon i am going to add a little bit of sugar and then dip this bread i have a little bit of milk that i need to use up as well as um, bread. We haven't been really eating bread. I need to use that up as well. 
So I'm just going to give everything a good mix. If I need to make more, I'll make another batter. Um, I have a sleepover today, so I want to hurry up. I also on the side, I'm going to cook up some bacon. And then probably make a breakfast sandwich for my husband and I. Or we'll see what I have. Um, I can give it a good smell. If it smells good, it's ready. Mm, perfect. And then I don't have like a thick bread. I just have regular, you know, sandwich bread that I'm going to use because I need to use that up. I haven't really bought bread because we don't really use it. We were using it a lot, but then no more.
Yeah, go ahead. You can get another one. This is what the breakfast looks like. The kiddos, of course, eat way too fast for me to film. We got breakfast sandwich, French toast, bacon, eggs, a little bit of everything. This French toast is good. Oh, good. And that's what's for breakfast for today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so for today's breakfast, my hubby got a little early start. I was having some issues right now with the camera. But anyways, he just cooked up some breakfast sausage. It's the Jimmy Dean one. I had some in the freezer and I wanted to use that up. We just defrosted it last night in our fridge and we just used a little bit, probably about half of a cup. And then he added about five eggs, right? And then we're not going to season it with salt and pepper because this is... The, the sausage is very seasoned, so I feel like it doesn't need anything. But if I do, then I'll change my mind. And then I think on the side, we're going to pick up some hash brown. Hash, hash brown. Hash brown. I have some shredded hash brown in my freezer that I also want to use up. So pretty much we're just trying to use up what we have in the freezer. Um, and then we might have some fruit. We'll show you guys what it looks like. Almost ready, girls. Uh, my kids are having some yogurt and strawberries just to have on the side. Uh, some pre-breakfast, I call it. And then we literally just went to Costco uh, the day, no, just yesterday, actually. We just went to Costco yesterday. I always get questions how long does certain food last. When I say that these only last one to two, one to two days, I am not kidding. Um, this morning, my kids, I just washed them and they already, they'll be gone later on by lunchtime. Or it's barely breakfast and they're, they're almost done. Sorry. That's why I have to, no, you don't have to say sorry. <laughs> They're too good. They are. That's what they're for. They're for to eat. You don't have to say sorry. Uh, <clears throat> yes, I know. That's why we have to buy so many of them from Costco. Just, they don't last. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it smells good. No, just a little. No, just a little. I make worse messes. No so good. Making some hash brown. And I just have a big bag from Costco that I really need to use up. Okay, and this is what the breakfast looks like. That's a big piece of hush brown. Is that fancy? It's super fancy. Okay. Okay, big big plate, but this looks so so good. The egg with the sausage and a lot of hash brown. Put some salsita on top. Then Esme's putting some tortillas. That's for daddy, not me. Okay. Hi guys, so for today's breakfast, we're just making something super, super simple. Uh, we're just making these cinnamon, cinnamon French toast sticks that I picked up at the Costco Business Center. I actually picked this up a few months ago. I noticed I still had a brand new bag in my freezer, and I think I have another one that's probably open. But I noticed that when they're super frozen, they're hard to pull apart they got kind of smashed up but they taste really really good um, my kiddos and my husband really like that so I'm just gonna warm them up in the toaster oven really quick I think I'm gonna make some hot dog meat on the side to have and then cook up some eggs and then just some fruit okay I got a phone call so sorry um, so yeah Esme my oldest offered to help and she is just putting them on there not sure if I mentioned it, but I do have another baggie. It just has a little bit left, but they're frozen. And I put these in my fridge, and this seems to be working way better. We'll see if they toast up nice and crispy. We're going to put them in the toaster oven for a few minutes. And then um, on the side, I'm just going to make some eggs. And um, you can put them here. I'll hold the bag for you, baby. Put them in the toaster oven. I'll turn it on right now. Good job, Esme. Thank you so much for helping. I, sorry, let me just push it a little bit more. Perfect. Thank you. And on the side, my kids love heavy fruit. Um, as of today that I'm filming, it has been one full week since I've gone to Costco. And the strawberries already finished. They finished about two days ago. Uh, the three pack of strawberries. They just went by so fast. Uh, they finished. And now we're starting off with grapes. Um, I like to wash them and take them off the vine. My kiddos would help, but sometimes we don't do that. So... Just keeping it real right now. I'm just taking them off the vine and washing them as they want them. And then this over here is blueberries. These I actually um, 
cleaned off and put them in a little Tupperware. I put them in two, so we have this one and another half one, so like that the kiddos can have some. And Estrella, my youngest, had some with yogurt um, and grapes earlier. Um, and then I'm going to wash these two. These are the candy dreams that I also picked up at the Costco. So I'm pretty interested in trying them. I have tried the cotton candy one and they're pretty sweet. They're pretty good. They're a little bit pricier than the regular ones. Um, but it's like once a year kind of thing. I think that they only come out during the month of July. But I still saw them. No way. It's August already. I still haven't seen them. <laughs> I haven't gone to Costco. Never mind. I need coffee and right now we're going to talk about this machine because oh my goodness if you love espresso you're going to love this machine it is such an affordable espresso machine that my husband picked up on amazon i think it's called the sotec and i've been loving it it just tastes like a coffee drink from a coffee shop and i have it over ice very easy to use and you can make four cups of Hello. four shots of espresso Hi. Still in pajamas and oh, then Mama. Monday. Oh, God. But when we're done, I have to get breakfast. We're going to eat lunch and then my mom is going to make the scary for lunch. Yes. Yeah, so as soon as I'm done making breakfast, I'm going to start off okay. with dinner. Um, I took out some cottage cheese just in case somebody wanted some, but I don't think so. No, don't chew with your mouth open. I think I'm just going to have coffee. Um, that's why it's hard to film some of these what's for breakfast. Because sometimes the breakfast is, I'm just keeping it real, will be cereal, will be just something simple. Yes. Okay. Um, sometimes the breakfasts will be super simple. It'll just be like repetitive, like we're eating the same thing. And I'm like, I'm not sure if people want to see that. So let me know if you guys don't mind and I'll keep filming that. Um, but right now I'm going to show you how I make this coffee really quick. Okay, so I'm going to start by adding water. What I like about this um, espresso maker is that you can make four shots at a time. And if you're more than one person that's drinking espresso, well, I think that part is very convenient. And then it's very simple to use. The first time it did take me a little trial and error. But once I figured it out, um, I got it right. Okay, so I put the water in there. Now I am going to make eight shots of coffee because that's just the kind of... Eight shots of espresso, that's just the kind of coffee my husband and I are going to need. Um, but it comes with this little cup. I don't know the correct term or the correct word for it, but I will put it somewhere here. Um, so it comes with this little scooper and you can use any coffee, uh, your favorite coffee, just finely grind it if you have a grinder because um, you need it finely grind and you don't have to use coffee made for espresso. You can use any coffee that you have. So it has an, an indicator line right there when it's four shots, when it's two shots. Um, so you could do that. Then it comes with this put that there to hold it you can hold it like this with this little stick but when you're putting it in there you don't need to do it now this is the only part I have tricky but really I don't think it's the machine I think it's me because when my husband does it he gets it right away so I just need to insert this here and there once it's locked it's ready to go and then this little part inserts here this one is a frother, but since I drink my espresso um, over ice, I don't use it. I haven't used it yet. Um, but I'm not kidding. It makes the best espresso I've had, like similar to a coffee shop. So then I just press this button right here. And it takes about two minutes for the coffee to the espresso to come out. This mug, I leave it here because um, the first time that I used it, I quickly took off this valve just to let it release, but I didn't let it steam. So the second time that I try using it, when I refill the water, it was coming out of here. So now I learned my lesson too. As soon as it's done, do not turn it off. Do not take this off. Let it release the steam. And like that, I don't have any problems. But... I left that mug just in case, but it hasn't happened since. It only happened once. Um, so it takes about two minutes. Uh huh. It takes about two minutes, and then the espresso will come down. I'll show you guys in a bit. Okay, so my oldest is just going to have it like this because she already had her fruit and she doesn't want eggs today. So she's going to have it like this. My husband does want eggs and some um, 
hot dog meat on the side. There's so a little cup of syrup. Yeah, she requested that. <laughs> okay. So on this side, I have some hot dogs. They're just regular hot dogs from Costco that I like to use. They're the beef ones, but um, I have some that need to get used up. And if you ever have hot dog meat, you can always cook them up on the side for breakfast. Or actually mix them in with your eggs. What I just did was I'm splitting the hot dog in half. And then just going to cook it up like this. I'm cooking up two of them for my husband. This time I'm not going to have none. Um, but I'm um, just going to cook these up and then I'm going to cook up some eggs too. So I try not to use metal ones on the non-stick. I completely forgot. So I'm trying not to touch the pan without damaging the non-stick. Okay, I just ended up switching it to the spatula. So I need to make these flat. You want to make sure you're holding it with the other hand, okay? Then we go finish it. If you're right-handed, you could turn the the whole pot. I mean, you're left-handed, turn the whole pot like that. There you go. some egg as it was Oh, happening. can I see? Yeah. Um, I can't see. Go that way. You can see. I can't see the flower. Oh, it's like crusty. Mama, I want burrito. Mm hmm Burrito. You want burrito too? Yeah, okay. with, with, with ketchup. You need to peel it off. Huh? What do you want to say? Mama, can I go under there? So this is the French toast sticks with the eggs. I left them a little bit longer, so a little bit crispier, but I know my husband won't mind. Um, and then the eggs that you saw us cooked up and then these are the hot dog meats I ended up just cooking up the rest of them because my kiddos wanted some so they're gonna have some of that I'm just waiting to get some ice in my cup right now, and then I'm gonna serve my espresso over ice and I'm not sure if I'm gonna eat some eggs. We'll see um, I try to keep my breakfast a little bit lighter lately because usually my dinners are higher in points uh, So we'll see right now, and then we have different kinds of fruits that the kiddos are having but pretty much this is what we're having for breakfast for today. This was breakfast on this day. Hi guys, so for today's breakfast, I'm quickly making some espresso. I really love this machine. I'm gonna have it over ice. It's not actually early in the morning. It's actually lunchtime already. So we're having coffee and then let me show you what else we're gonna have. So my mother-in-law was sweet enough and sent us over some breakfast croissants. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, these are fully loaded. So these are the croissants that they sell at Costco. I've actually been looking for them and I can't find them. So she says she was able to find them. And I wanted breakfast sandwiches, but I never told her none of this. But that's so sweet of her that she made this. These are so, so good. It's the croissant from Costco. And then she added uh, bacon ham cheese and an egg that looks so good i'm gonna eat that one so my husband and i gonna have one and see if the girls want one if not they might just have just a simple um breakfast they might have some yogurt with fruit 
and granola or cottage cheese. We'll see what they want or French toast sticks. We'll see. They'll, they'll keep it simple. But um, I did ask them that their Nana was going to be making them breakfast sandwiches. They wanted some and they said no, that they'll have something else. But this looks so, so good. And she is such a sweetheart. Like, looks amazing. Right, babe? Yes. Looks good, huh? So we're going to enjoy this and this is what we're having for breakfast for today. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's What's for Breakfast. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. For more videos like this, feel free to hit that subscribe button. I do have a playlist too if you guys want to see more What's for Breakfast. And I will see you guys on the next one. You look so beautiful And I'm so lucky to be yours